15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. Every single movie that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk that all I had said was just, can we take some of this step and fetch it shit out? and then I can do it. Like, it don't need to be overtly homosexual because I'm not homosexual, right? It doesn't need that right. to be funny, right? <laughs> we all know that Kevin Hart has a very messy past with his ex-wife, Teresa. Cat Williams recently announced that he's going on tour with her. This announcement comes shortly after Cat dragged Kevin for filth in an intense interview with Shannon Sharp, where he accused Kevin of being an industry plant and selling his soul for fame. It appears that 2024 will be a very difficult year for Kevin Hart. There are rumors that this won't be your typical comedy tour since Tire will be disclosing some serious information about Kevin, which has angered him and caused him to clap back at her. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Honestly, Kevin should just hang it up and get off social media for a while because it hasn't been a month that his former assistant also appeared in an interview with Tasha Kay and exposed him for cheating on his current wife, Aniko Hart, and being a gambling addict. The man can't catch a break to save his life right now. The first scandal was with the first thing. Correct. The one in Vegas. Yes. So these other scandals. It's another one in the office. She pregnant again. Correct. With her second baby. And he's still hey. leaving semen stains on. Hey, Tasha K be getting all that information, bro. For real. King. Correct. With her second baby. And he's still leaving semen stains all over the counter. At the yes. heartbeat. Correct. <laughs> showering and then going home. Like I told Aniko, like Kevin is cheating on you with a girl named Mix Morgan. She's his flight attendant. She's on his planes. Does Kevin have a gambling problem or something? His game is poker. Sorry. He gambled y'all money away and, and had to pay y'all half checks? Yes. I, well, <laughs> exactly. I, it was Leland. Leland was messing with our money. But I said, I was, here she is. Oh! oh! She got it. She on vacation every day. Oh, yeah. When you see a bitch and she on, all she do is post vacation pictures with no nigga beside her, the nigga taking the picture. She's like, nah, baby. <laughs> Girl, you know I'm gonna take the pictures for you as many angles as you want, but I can't it, to ensure he don't go up in these motherfucking photos. Oh, right. Nico, I love you. I'm not gonna speak bad on her. <laughs> the messy part of that Tasha K interview is that Kevin got very agitated shortly after it was posted and filed a lawsuit against Tasha, claiming Tasha had Man. attempted to extort him by threatening to conduct an interview with Maisha Shakes, his former personal assistant. Additionally, the lawsuit claimed that the assistant had made false statements during the interview. However, before Kevin could successfully pursue that lawsuit, he was hit with more accusations after Cat Williams called him out for being an industry plant on Club Shay. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time that Cat has truly come after Kevin. When Kevin appeared in an SNL skit a few years ago, he was called out for the first time. At the time, this was a big deal because Dave Chappelle had appeared on the Oprah Winfrey show a few years earlier and had discussed how the producers of a movie he was working on were pressuring him to wear a dress. I mean, I'm a conspiracy there is to a degree. Like when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down. Like, why all these brothers gotta wear a dress? That's happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. <laughs> That's shit for you. They come in. It's the writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail. So he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on. And it, huh? What? The prostitute? Now and that's what they do. They try to lighten it by making shit sound funny. As long as they can get you to laugh at something, that's when they got you. They got you. I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with that. That should have been in a discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. 
So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We're supposed to shoot. Every every minute you waste costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm, now I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't need to wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Berle? You know, we're going like this. And then finally, he's like, ah. And he, he leaves. And then, like, the director comes, Dave. It really would be great if you wear the dress. Listen, not wearing the dress. All right, fine. Think of something else. That comes back 10 minutes later. The whole new scene. Hot damn, how did you write the scene so fast? You know, it's like, so you got to take a stink. Kevin tried to brush Dave's comments off when he was later questioned about them, but he made it very plain that he would not compromise his boundaries or morals by wearing a dress. Dave Chappelle, another great comedian, said that, you know, in the industry, they tried to make him wear a dress. Have you ever ran into that with, with scripts? And, <laughs> and is that something that, you know, you wouldn't do, you know, for? for... Uh, I definitely haven't ran into to put on the dress. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you have to have... You have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. Uh, you know, for me, I know what they are. Uh, they've yet to be challenged, so you know, I don't have to speak on them. I was asked to dribble a basketball on the talk show this morning. Like, you look said good no to doing that. it. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> not that that was a dress, but I was like, no, I'm gonna look stupid. You know, at the end of the day, you gotta know that you're a brand. Yeah. I'm a brand. Uh, you need to protect your brand at all times. But after a few years. He disregarded his own advice and appeared in a dress on an SNL skit, channeling his inner drag queen. When asked later about Kevin's dress choice, Kat responded that he didn't think it was Kevin's fault because he was just a part of a broken system that demands black men emasculate themselves in order to succeed. I'm saying um, at the end of the day, Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so now I'm saying, why are we picking on poor little Kevin Hart? Because it was his turn. Oh yeah, I just posted a video um, last night. Marlon Way Marlon Wayans think it's okay. Shit, he he was he he. Did that little white chicks movie? He was like, "Shit, we need to stop tearing each other down and just put on a dress." I'm like, "Nah, bro." Next. Okay. It appeared that Cat and Kevin had kept their names to themselves until 2018, when Kevin publicly criticized Cat for being an addict and asserted that Cat's current level of success is a result of Cat choosing drugs over his career. My frustration with Cat Williams comes from you keep pointing at Hollywood, Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. Cat was in that position at one you point. You were the guy. Yeah. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You. Hey, that shit crazy, bro. No man should have to put on a dress to act, bro. If they acting, they that mean they went to school, they good at it, and that's what you want. Nobody should be putting on no damn dress. But yeah, what y'all think about Kevin Hart being and his, and his endeavors? with his little side chicks and shit like that, man. Hey, bro, he got the money to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is, bro. Big Kish signing out.